Okay, today I'm going to show you how I do the Priscilla Wild short row heel. And please bear with me because this is the first technical video that I've done, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I'm going to see how it goes. So I just um, knit up a section here so that I had something to work with, and I did it just like a sock so you can see it it's here. Um, this works for both toe up and cuff down if you decide you want to do a short row heel. And this is how I do it. Um, and obviously I'm doing it on magic loop but um, it can be done on double points as well. So the first part of it is just knitting across to one less stitch. And I always slip the first stitch. I don't think I have a um, a specific way. You can either slip it as if to knit or you can slip it as if to purl. It I don't think it really matters. Um, and then I and then you knit across to the first where you want to leave your first stitch. And I'm not going to show all of this. I'm just going to kind of give you an idea at first. And then I will work through the rest of it. Because the important thing is after the turn, when you're turning the, turning the heel. So you would knit all the way across to one stitch before the end. You leave that stitch on there. You don't do any wrap or turn at this point, And you just turn your work and then you're going to purl back. Oh, I'm sorry. You slip the first stitch as if to purl and then purl back to one stitch from the end. And I don't know why I put so many stitches on here, but <laughs> I guess I could have made a smaller a smaller section. Okay, so now we're one stitch from the end, leaving that stitch on there, and you turn back. And then I think I think this one I do slip as if to purl. No, I think I slip it as if to knit. That I'm I'm not sure if that's how it's directed to do it in the pattern, but that's how I do it. And then you knit again across till you have two stitches remaining. Oops. It's kind of difficult to knit while you're trying to watch the video at the same time to make sure that you're in frame. Okay, so we go all the way to the end to one stitch before you leave. And you can kind of see there's a pretty big gap between there. Here, let me put this one back on the needle and you can kind of see. You can see that between these two stitches, they're a little closer together. And then between these two stitches, they're further apart. So you know that that's where your gap is. So you want to leave that stitch on the needles, knit this one, and then turn. And I'll show you the same thing on this side. And this one I, I um, slip as if to purl, and I purl across. And again, you can see here. These stitches here on the needles are further apart, and these three are closer together, so you know that this is the stitch that you're going to leave on the needle. And then turn. So that's the stitch we're going to leave, and we'll turn. And then slip that first stitch, and then knit across. I'll show you one more row, and then I will go ahead and finish up off camera.
Again, I'm going to show you the two stitches on there. These two stitches are closer together. You can kind of see that. There's the, there's the gap between these two stitches. Okay, so this is the stitch that you're going to leave on there and then turn. Slip that first stitch and purl. I'll show you with a couple stitches on there. You see there, here's your gap. These three stitches are close together. See that? So this is the stitch that you're going to leave on there. So that is the part about leaving your stitches. Now I will go ahead and work through the rest of these and then I'll come back and show you where I picked them up. Okay, so I'm back on a right side row. If you start on a right side row, you want uh, if you start leaving your stitches um, on a right side row, you want to make sure that you start picking them up on the right side row as well. So now we're going to slip as if to knit. This is just like you do the other ones, the other rows, and then you're going to knit to one stitch before the gap. And here again, I'll show you. You can see how those two stitches are closer together. Here's your gap, and this is your stitch. So if we were still leaving stitches on the needles, this would be the next stitch that we leave on the needle. But since that we're starting to pick those stitches up now, we're going to keep it there. Now these, we're going to, the pattern calls for you to just knit them together. I don't like to knit them together. I like to do a slip slip knit because the slip slip knit is the reverse of a purl two together, which is what we're going to do on the other side. So I do a slip slip knit. And then you want to pick up, pick up a stitch between these. And what I do is I come down directly next to this other stitch and I pick this one up right here. And I hope that you can see that. So here's, here's the next stitch and I pick this one up directly next to it right here. And the way I do that is I pick it up, oops, I'm sorry. I pick it up and I put it on the needle just like that. Okay, so that's I just picked up that stitch right here and I might have to try this again with another color yarn if it doesn't show up that well. But I just picked that stitch up right there and I set it on the needle like that and then I knit through the back loop. And it kind of twists it. Okay, so now that's where I picked my stitch up and then I'll turn and then I slip that stitch. Oops. I slip that stitch as if to purl and then purl across. To where I'm going to purl these two together. So here's the two that I'll be purling together. Purl them together. And then this is where the tricky part comes in because you need to pick up the same stitch in the same fashion on this side as you do on the other side. And it took me a while to figure it out, but you can see here, again, I'm gonna pick up the stitch right next to it. Here's the purl bump of this stitch right here. Let me see if I have something. Okay. So here, here's the stitch, and here's the purl bump of the stitch directly next to it. So that's the stitch that I'm going to pick up. And again, you need to pick it up, put it, oops, I'm sorry, again, pick it up like this and then put it on the needle so your, so your, so your tip is coming through the front from the right side through, through the stitch and then you're going to purl. So you're still twisting that stitch, okay? And I'll show you again. 
whoops, we're going to slip that stitch and then we're going to knit across. to one stitch before the gap. So here's the gap. And this is actually the stitch that we picked up last time. And you might be able to see that there, that twisted stitch. We're gonna do a slip slip knit here. Okay, and then we're gonna pick up again that next stitch directly next to, we're gonna pick up that stitch right there, okay? And I'm going to pick it up, pick it up like this, and then my needle is going to go through the front, and then I'm going to purl through the back loop. Or I'm sorry, I'm going to knit through the back loop to pick that stitch up. Okay? And then you turn. Again, you always slip that first stitch, purl across. To the stitch where we picked up. This is the stitch we picked up last time. Purl those two together. And then again, we're going to come down directly next to this stitch. This is the loop. This is the purl bump of that stitch directly next to it. Okay, so we're going to pick up that stitch. without splitting the yarn, okay? And the, the left needle comes through the front of that stitch on the right side, and then you're going to purl it. So again, you're twisting that stitch. Okay, and then you slip the first stitch, and you knit across. show you again we're going to slip slip knit these two stitches we're going to pick it up pick up the next stitch and I'll show you again I always start here and I go directly next to it and and it would be the stitch on the same row so it's going to be this this leg right here is what we're going to pick up so we're going to pick up that leg the needle comes through the front, and then we're going to knit it through the back loop and turn. And then we're going to slip that first stitch and purl across. Here we are to where we're going to pick up the stitches. We're going to purl these two together. Again, here we go. This is the stitch, the next stitch, and we're going to pick up that purl bump that's right there. And the, the left needle comes from the front, and then you purl it to make sure you're twisting that stitch. That twisting of the stitch is one of the most important things. Then we're going to slip that first stitch and we're going to knit across. And I know this, this video, I don't really have to show this every single time, but I know that the, the key to, to these short row heels is that you do it the correct way and sometimes you just have to see it a few times to really understand so that's why I'm doing it a few doing it all times okay here we go here's the this is the stitch that we that we picked up and knit through the back loop on the previous row we're gonna slip slip knit it with the next stitch and we're going to pick up that next stitch come through the front and then knit it through the back loop 
and turn. And then we're going to slip that stitch and purl across. And we're going to purl these two together and then pick up that stitch that's right, right there. Needle through the front and then purl it, twisting it. And then we'll turn again. We'll slip that first stitch. Oopsie. Sorry about that. I ended up dropping that stitch, so I need to purl that back again. Dropped that stitch that I picked up. So I purled it through the back loop. Oops, I'm slipping it this way. Tighten that up a little bit and then knit across. And this is the last stitch that we're going to pick up on this side. So here we go. Here we are at the end. We're going to slip slip knit this one again. And now we're out of stitches on the left needle. However, we need to continue around, and we have one more stitch that we have to pick up over here, but we're going to do that when we get around the around. But we still need to pick up a stitch here, so again, I'm going to pick up the stitch from the row below, right here. I'm going to pick it up, and then I'm going to knit it through the back loop. And then I'm going to go ahead and knit the front part of the sock. Oops, I'm sorry about that. So this would be the front part of the sock. And I just knit across the front. And then we'll pick up that last stitch on the, uh, on the heel when we get around. And then we'll be knitting in the round again. Okay, so we're back at the heel, but we still have this one last stitch that we need to, to pick up. And we're going to knit those two together, those two stitches. But before we do that, we need to pick up a stitch over here in the gap to, to compensate for the knit two together that we're going to do right here. So you're going to pick it up just like this. Pick it from the row below. Oops, sorry. Pick it up from the row below. Put it on the needle. And knit it through the back loop. That We're adding that stitch. And then we're going to knit these two together. This is the only time that you do the knit two together. And then we just continue across. Now we have the same number of stitches that we started out with. And we've picked up all of our stitches. And by slipping that first stitch and then coming around, you should be able to eliminate any gap at the top of your short row heel as well. So we get to the end. And that is the end. And now we start working our pattern again. And I'll just show you. how that looks. So you've got your stitches going this way and your in the the um the uh, this is like the other rows so they're all going 
this way. And then if we turn it around this way, you still see your stitches going this way and then that line right underneath it. So I don't know if, if there's a way that I can show you both at the same time without really stretching it out too much, but both of, both of the stitches are going the same way so that the line of the stitches are going this way and all the other the the knit or the purl two togethers and the slip slip knits are all facing upwards so that is how I do the Priscilla Wild short row heel or short rows I should say because I don't know if it's a short row heel but it's the short row from the lifestyle heel sock if you have any questions, you can reach me on Ravelry or on the blog, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.